Hello, my name is Jack Quinn, and my presentation is over the positive effects that competition has on children. When you think about competi um, competition, what do you remember? Now ask yourselves, do you want that same experience for your kids? One of the best things that you can do is have your child play sports at a young age. There are many benefits that come from, trying, um, from competing at a young age, such as academic skills and social skills. From competing at a young age, you can gain many academic skills, such as better researching skills, creativity, and better focus during class. Anna Cattavia, a student athlete at the University of Juarez in Barcelona, did a research that shows that kids who, um, who, kids who compete in sports have better academic performance. There are also many social benefits. Kids who are on a team together tend to have closer relationships and, um, and have better social confidence in a social environment. My mentor, Mrs. Dredd, has a two-year-old daughter, uh, has, has a daughter who has competed since she was two years old. Uh, from competing in dance since she was two years old, she has learned time management to help her with school. She has also gained more friends from the experience and has lived a healthier lifestyle. There are also many other benefits that kids can experience from, having, um, from starting competition at a young age, such as more success in their sport, which can lead to a longer career in their sport. I started um, playing hockey when I was two years old. Since I started at such a young age, I now play for the number one team in Texas. I also have opportunities to get drafted into junior leagues, such as the USHL, NAHL, and WHL, which can help me have a long, longer career. I'm only 13 years old, and I'm already seeing scouts at my hockey games watching me play. There are also many benefits for the parents, such as an outlet for aggressive sibling competition at home. Parents also gain more free time while their kids are playing court. However, there are many obstacles that you'll have to overcome to achieve your goals, such as bad grades, procrastinating your schoolwork, being distracted by friends or technology, and um, not being able to manage your time. I struggle with some of these um, hurdles. So I would, co um, would come home from hockey and procrastinate my schoolwork. Even though I showed great test scores, I would um, my grades would suffer because I couldn't turn my homework in on time. However, there are ways you can overcome these hurdles, such as creating schedules, disconnecting yourselves from your distractions, and making calendars. I overcame my hurdles by making a planner to remind myself what, um, what assignments I had that night. I also disconnected myself from all my distractions. I also made a calendar so I could manage my time around my sports. Now you may have other fears. You may fear your child will get injured. Well, Stanford Health Hospital statistics show that out of the 30 million kids from ages 5 to 14, less than 10% of them will actually receive an injury to where they have to be medically treated. Uh, however, if you still fear your child getting injured, you can always have them play a non-contact sport to decrease the chances. Now, maybe you um, fear your kid will fail and not be um, wanted. Well, failure is another life lesson. Without failing, you can never learn from your mistakes. Life is a sport, and, with, um, and if, you don't, if you're not getting ahead, you'll end up falling behind. So what are you waiting for? Go out and have your st uh, kids start a sport right now so they can get ahead. And remember, life is a sport, so make it count.